uh, welcome back. It's uh, Metal Marty Mac back with another video. Uh, this time I've got some, uh, you've probably seen the thumbnail. This is some classic rock, uh, some hard rock, and uh, just one or two metal albums as well. All reissues. There's a new album here, 2022 album, that I've waited a while to get. And um, yeah, so there's a few albums here. So it's just this is just stuff I've bought over the last couple of weeks, month, or whatever, and it's sitting about. And I just thought I'd show some of it. Um, I had some of it on my social media, probably, so you would have. You, a lot of you guys probably have seen this already, but I'm just going to put it all together in the video because it's sitting around. Okay, so uh, first up, what we're listening to in the background, well, I, what I'm listening to really is uh, Triumph uh, Surveillance from 1987, Canadian band Triumph. Uh, fantastic album, absolutely love this album. So I'm playing that in the background at the moment just for myself, really. Uh, I know you can't hear it because you know, copyright and all that shit. So, okay, first up, I've got three, ba uh, three albums by the one band. So this is a bad, this is a classic rock band. These t t two of these albums are from 1969, and one of them is from 1970. So uh, I absolutely love this band. Uh, I'm just taking them out of the sleeves here. Uh, um, I've always liked this band. This is one of the biggest bands in the world. Everybody knows their songs. Um, a lot of famous songs. A lot of songs that were covered by a lot of bands. A lot of songs or bands that they covered themselves. Okay, so who I'm talking about? A uh, recent uh, documentary on uh, YouTube about the band, about their trip to the Royal Albert Hall. So yes, so enough bullshit. <laughs> we're talking about Creedence Clearwater Revival. So there was a box set put out of all seven Creedence uh, albums in it, studio albums in it. I didn't get because it's fucking crazy price. So decided I'm gonna pick up these, so I've picked up three of them so far. So from 1969, this is uh, Bayou Country. Uh, John Fogarty, as everybody knows, that knows Credence. So this song, this one has a uh, classic like Born on the Bayou. It also has Proud Mary on it, and uh, it has the cover of Good Golly Miss Molly. Good album, uh, some, some cool stuff on that. Uh, Graveyard Train, wouldn't be a well-known one, or Bootleg, which is very cool as well. So that's Bayou Country from 1969. Uh, also in 69, I think they released three albums in 69, three massive albums in 69. So this is Green River. Uh, once again, these come out on, I don't even know what label these are on, but uh, they actually sound amazing. Uh, I love Creedence, it's just, it's just basic down to earth, good uh, American rock. So you've got the uh, Green River on this commotion. Uh, Tombstone Shadow, it's one of my favourite songs, it's amazing on it. Uh, Bad Moon Rising, Lodi. Uh, the Night Time is the Right Time. Sinister Purpose, Cross, Ty Walker, yeah, fucking great stuff, great band, absolutely love it, classic, 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 classic rock, classic American rock, and then from 1970s is a uh, Cosmos Factory, this is probably one of the more famous album covers, any, uh, I think Cosmos Factory was this, the, the name for the studio, whatever studio they were doing their stuff in, so yeah, once again, this has uh, some classic stuff on it, uh, Ramble Tamble, Traveling Man, Traveling Band, Traveling Man, it's a bit Skinnered, so looking at my back door, run through the jungle, up around the bend, who'll stop the rain, uh, heard it through the grapevines on it, 11 minutes of it, which is classic, uh, and as uh, long as I can see the lights. This is probably one of the more popular albums, or more famous albums, I believe, anyway, going by the track list. But they had so many big hits, they were, they were, they were uh, pushing the Beatles for a number one spot in the world for a long time, and they are a better band as far as I'm concerned, anyway. But uh, yeah, John Fogarty's uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, great stuff, delighted, I can't wait to get the other four albums of theirs. Uh, Pendulum, Mardi Gras, uh, Willie and the Poe Boys, and I think the first one's Creedence Clearwater Revival. So when I get the four of them, I'll be really happy. Okay, another reissue that came out recently. Uh, the second album by, by a band. Uh, I'm just looking for my notes, because I'm fucking useless, as you all know, with fucking dates. Uh, so this came out in, uh, yeah, 1992. I probably could have looked on the album, but... So anyway, this is the follow-up to Facelift. So this is Alice in Chains, Dirt, second album, uh, another fantastic album by Alice in Chains. Uh, so I have Facelift and now I have Dirt, so I'm uh, probably pretty happy enough with that. I don't, I don't know a lot of in-between stuff between uh, the Dinosaur album, as we say, one of the more recent ones, and, and in between that. I did get a few recommendations of stuff to uh, listen to, but uh, I absolutely love this album. Uh, I prefer Facelift. But this has some classics on it, like uh, Dem Bones, uh, Damn That River, I love that song. Uh, uh, Sick Man, Rooster, uh, Godsmack, is it Godsmack? It was one of these songs I'm not really into, it could be Godsmack. 
uh, angry chair and wood what a great follow-up a uh, great reissue it's on two discs uh, sounds fantastic it has the inner with the uh, lyrics so uh, yeah great album by uh, Alison Chains uh, so that is dirt okay so also from 2000 and 2011 the third album from um, another American band excuse me American uh, Hard rock, southern rock, um, well, whatever you want to call them. So this is a uh, Blackstone Cherry, and this is the de between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Uh, Road Runner Records originally it's out of music on vinyl. Excuse me. Um, I, I I like Blackstone Cherry. I really like the first couple of albums, the first three albums. I'm going to try to aim to get. So this is their third one. So I need Blackstone and I need uh, folklore and superstition. I think they're a great band. Uh, I've always liked Leonard Skinner. I know that they're not like Leonard Skinner, but they have that little bit of southern fringe to their music. This is music on vinyl. You don't need me to tell you, you know by the noise that it's music on vinyl. But uh, yeah, great album. Uh, I'm gonna try to quickly go through these. There's a few more to show you. So it's on black vinyl. Uh, this coming with uh, a proper inner. I'll put it in a poly. So you got a picture of the band and. Uh, and that was oh, actually this is the booklet sorry it's not the you know it's very similar so you've just got uh some lyrics and some other liner notes and butter bullshit like but yeah this is a great album uh, as i said i do like the first three albums of uh blackstone cherry the newer stuff i just yeah it's just sort of all blended but i like the first three this is cracking tunes uh, white trash millionaire killing floor in my blood such a shame won't let go blame it on the boom boom uh like i roll which is probably one of my favorite um Blackstone songs, uh, can't you see? Let me see a shake, stay change. I'm dreaming of great album. Not a bad song on it. I really, really like this uh, Blackstone Cherry album, and uh, yeah, glad to pick it up. And I'm looking forward to getting the other the first two albums. Okay, this one I had on Facebook during the week. Uh, been out a while. It's been out since February twenty two or, or so. February of this year. Uh, was looking forward to get it but it was always just there so i didn't buy it but i waited for a while so this is a uh, saxon's latest offer on uh, cap cap dm cap dm and a uh, very very good album really really impressed i uh, really like this album uh, i know a lot of people were hyping on it and talking about it and how good it was and everything and uh, yeah i can see why i really really like this album uh don't have a lot i don't have really any of uh, modern modern day saxon let's say i have the first old classic new wave of british heavy metal stuff which is awesome, great band. So um, I have to pick up more of their uh, their newer releases, and I've got got a few recommendations from Mr. B and from uh, Rock Scout Scott. So uh, yeah, he's have seen this a thousand fucking times this year already. As I say, being from Cavan, I was just waiting to uh, for the price to go down a bit so I could pick it up. But uh, I'm really glad I did. It's a really really good album. Some good good great tunes on it. My favorite song is the second song, uh, Age of Steam. I think the pilgrimage one of them i think it could be the pilgrimage the guitar work and it sounds a bit like acdc there's a nice i kept singing hell's bells or something in my head when the the kind of lead guitar and it was really reminding me of acdc unless i'm just gone mad but yeah it's all all good all good songs really like it like the cover it's nice and bright and bossed and uh it came out on um silver lining records yeah good 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 addition i'm looking forward to picking up some more uh, saxon stuff as well modern stuff very good okay last up is uh, two uh, more reissues uh, from uh, air music this is the sabotage the, the sabotage stuff that was all coming out and uh, i've picked everything up so far one more to go uh, poets and madmen from 2011 it has to come out yet but and then that's finished but it really looks good nice to have them all nice on the shelf and uh, they're great brilliant reissues uh, these are probably two of well this this one this is a great album and then um uh, uh, the last one, or the second to last one I'm going to show you is, um, it's a good album, but it wouldn't be me f anywhere near my favourite, but you need to get them all once you've started. Sabotage, one of my favourite bands, so uh, this is Dead Winter Dead, absolutely beautiful cover, I'm going to take these two out because they're, they're really nice, they're really nice reissues, um, but I had to pick them up, so yeah, that's a, fucking, that's a class cover, I think it's uh, meant to be Sarajevo or that Christmas, which is one of the songs on it, so Waffle Waffle Waffle, uh, gatefold really heavy what did this one come with darcy's probably showing these i know darcy was big into these uh, air music uh, reissues from sabotage so uh it's on a uh, red vinyl 
which is looks cool with the blue label. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Moving along, moving along. Uh, what else did it come with? This one came with a poster, an old tour poster. And a well, no old style tour poster, which is pretty cool, which will remain inside the, the fucking sleeve, or whatever it's called. So you got lyrics, you got a picture of the band, Zach Stevens still in vocals on this one. Uh, like I say, it's a good album, really good album. Some good, some really good tracks on this, really good standout tracks. This also came with a big, big booklet. Al Petrelli, Chris Caffrey here on uh, guitar. Uh, fantastic booklet. There's there's ton, a ton of reading in this. I have read through it when I was listening to the record, and it's it's really good. Uh, Air Music done an absolutely amazing job with this stuff. I wish they'd. I can't wait to see who they're gonna do after Sabotage. Uh, so that's the other inner. I've obviously put them in polyline sleeves. So uh, yeah, very cool. Very hard to get back in. There's so much stuff in them. But anyway, I'll do that off video. Obviously, the last thing you want is just me doing that shit. So yeah, it's great stuff on this Sarajevo. This is the time I am. Uh, Mozart and Madness, Dead Winter Dead's brilliant song. Christmas Sarajevo, the Christmas sound tune. And uh, yeah, there's a bonus track uh, of a live song. Somewhere, I can't believe that fucking thing. But yeah, yeah, delighted to pick up these sabotage reissues. They look really cool. So I might have to do a sabotage first, uh, last and always at some stage. So next up, we have The Wake of Magellan from 1997. So um, once again, more amazing artwork. Picture of the band. See John Oliver's back on this one. More grateful goodness. Uh, I'm going to quickly do this. Okay, so this, I have to put these in poly sleeves yet, that's the hype sticker, based on two real live events, uh, blah blah blah, Third Rock Opera Intense Studio Album, so this one's on a yellowy orange type colour to match the cover, and uh, it's tight as fuck, I'm going to have to change them out, and also this one came with another Fucking very impressive, huge looking booklet of tons of artwork, uh, the whole story behind the album, uh, and the story about I mean, Miguel. But uh, yeah, really cool, as I just said there. Uh, the other vinyl is um, also yellow, obviously, to match the set. This one, what else did it come with? This one also came with a 12 inch lenticular uh, card of the cover. I don't know if it, yeah, it sort of moved, the waves move on the ship. I know it's not going to work there, please, but I'll move it just like an idiot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very nice, great packaging, uh, great stuff, sounds amazing. And uh, yeah, that's Sabotage. Uh, the, the most two most recent, there is one more to go, I'll get it out, Jeff. Uh, Poets and Mad Men uh, is the last one. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, that's it guys, I just wanted to show you that stuff that was just sitting around, I need to get it back on the shelf. I haven't done a, like a rock or anything update in ages, I've all just done dead metal and trash metal for my last few updates, which is not a bad thing, which I'll probably be doing another one soon, of another dead metal one. But uh, yeah, that's it guys, uh, cheers, thanks for joining me for this, uh, thank you everybody for subscribing, because I've just hit over the 500 mark. Uh, I did hit over during the week, early in the week, but then it went back down to 4.99 or 4.98. Now it's back at 5, 5.01 or something like that. So we'll be doing a competition in a week or two time. I just want to make sure that it's up over the 500 because you look like a fucking idiot doing a 500 competition with 400 and something subs. So yeah, thank you everybody who has subscribed and uh, it's, been a, it's been a ride of a journey, man. It's been fucking amazing to get to 500. Uh, quickly enough, well, I think any, yeah. And I've really enjoyed, just uh, it's, been, it's been fun between the live stream I did and just chatting to all you guys and VCLTs and fucking everything. It's just, this is what it's all about. So uh, yeah, once again, cheers. I'll, um, I'll be talking to you all soon, Anya. So uh, have a good weekend, uh, good luck. Cheers, bye.